of the unions in education, I wish to extend our warmest compliments to all of you who have gathered here today in solidarity with teachers in this wonderful country. We believe that the coronavirus pandemic has become an opportunity for policymakers to learn from each other and cooperate with key stakeholders to mitigate the effects of the pandemic on education delivery in Ghana. This is where the theme for the year's World Teachers Day celebration comes into sharp focus. The question is, as a nation, how do we respond to the pandemic, which poses grave danger to all, especially people from disadvantaged backgrounds? Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, the unions in education recommend crisis management in three phases. The pre-crisis phases where the Ghana Education Service aims to prevent and prepare for the crisis. The crisis response phase where the Ghana Education Service management actually deals with the crisis and tries to contain it and limit its damages. And finally, the post-crisis phase which is concerned with the long-term goal of recovery from damage and image restoration. This is a day that we ought to be celebrating. We ought to be paying respect to our teachers and honor them. And as we gather to honor our teachers, not by way of awards alone, but also to express our heartfelt felt appreciation to them for all that they have done and continue to do every day to help raise our children and to impart knowledge and skills to them. So we don't believe that your rewards are in heaven because Christ came to dwell amongst us. And so we believe that your rewards are both here on earth and in heaven when you meet your maker. One of the realities of COVID-19 has drawn our minds to the role of our teachers in our lives and the lives of our children. With a long period that school has been out due to COVID-19, many parents are at their wit's end over what to do with these active children all day at home. Some even complain that the children eat too much. <laughs> if there is any time to better appreciate our teachers as a nation, it is now. My dear teachers, we can never repay the debt we owe you but we have a duty to try and make life better for you. And I'm proud to serve as an education minister to a president who is determined to do just that. On this auspicious and distinguished occasion of Ghana Teacher Prize 2020, I have this elevated honor to represent the President of the Republic his Excellency Nana Adedankwa Ekufuado, and to deliver his statement on his noble behalf. To make a success of our nation, we must pay attention to teachers. There's only a crop of well-trained, self-confident, and contented teachers that can deliver the educated and skilled workforce we require to transform our economy. So on behalf of government and the people of Ghana, I say a big ayoko to all teachers on this special occasion. The theme for this year's event, Teacher Leadership in Developing Crisis Education Responses, is wholly appropriate in light of the times in which we in Ghana and indeed, the whole world find ourselves. COVID-19 has wreaked havoc on all aspects of national life and has disrupted our way of life as we know it. In all of this, I pledged as President of the Republic to protect the lives and livelihoods of Ghanaians and embark on a safe, secure, and progressive easing of restrictions. 
amongst others, I was determined to ensure that the pandemic did not truncate the education nor jeopardize the future of our children. This is what informed government to allow some students, such as final year university, senior and junior high students to return to school, study and write their final year examinations. The necessary measures and interventions were put in place to ensure that the lives of students and staff were not compromised in any way. With the effectiveness of government policies, the cooperation of you, the Ghanaian people, and by the grace of God, the final year students have completed their final examinations without any mishap and are back home with their families. It's not been an easy journey, but we are a resilient nation and we shall continue to be paysetters on the continent. In all of this, I must reserve special praise for our teachers who helped to make this exercise a success. In spite of the genuine concerns of safety rates, coupled with the doom mongering trumpeted by some in the political space, the teacher unions cooperated with the Ministry of Education in the discussions and plans leading up to the phased reopening of schools. Teachers rose up to the occasion, returned to the classroom, and helped students to navigate the final stages of their preparation towards their examinations. In the very few senior high schools that reported cases of infections, teachers and the authorities of the affected schools complied with the necessary protocols and worked with the relevant health agencies to ensure the students were taken care of. They demonstrated that truly, their calling is a noble one and Ghana owes you a huge debt of gratitude. Beyond praising our teachers for their valor and dedication and the important role they play in our national life, it is important that this reflects in how we treat them. Teaching must no longer be seen as a stopgap measure or a job of, at la of last resort, but as a viable choice to enter a well-paid well-respected profession with long-term career prospects and good benefits. That is why government, through the Ministry of Education and its agencies, with support from Friends of Ghana, is collaborating with Norwegian Teacher Initiative to develop a comprehensive teacher policy. This project has established the Ghana Teacher Task Force, which oversees the development of the Comprehensive Teacher Policy for Ghana. The welfare, conditions of service, professional growth of teachers, and everything needed to support the Ghanaian teacher to compete with their counterparts from across the world have been factored into this policy. The policy shall influence the way teachers are trained, live their lives, grow in the profession and how they can promote and ensure high attainment of learning outcomes. The aim of the teacher licensure regime is primarily to enable qualified teachers to acquire a professional license and prepare them to meet the demands of the national teaching standards as well as global standards of minimum knowledge skills, values, and attitudes necessary to deliver effectively in schools. If we are to elevate the dignity of the teaching profession, as we must, then it stands to reason that we must guard jealously the gates and ensure that robust standards are met before a person can call himself a teacher and enter a classroom to teach. The licensure examinations are a credible way of ensuring this, and my government remains committed to it. For the first run-up, I will kindly call on Honorable Mrs. Gifty Chum Ampofo, Deputy Minister in charge of 
TVET. A 4x4 four four pickup and the 4x4 four four pickup donated by Prudential Bank and a certificate. So from Doma Municipality, Abuabu number four Presbyterian Primary, Gloria Enima Jr. and then we'll keep the keys. award I'll kindly call upon the Minister of Education and then the Central Regional Minister representing the President of the Republic. A three bedroom house worth 180,000 Ghana cities and a certificate. We have the plan of the house here. I'm still trying to look for the name. <laughs> okay, I can see Greater Accra. I can see Tema Municipal. I can see Nelo SDA. Eric Asumeni Asante win the most outstanding teacher.
Flora and Emma Junior. Being posted to a remote community for the past 13 years, been there. And today you saw me, I couldn't even open my car because I've not had a feel of a car. It's just motorbike. So I just thank God and I'm happy for myself. And I know that many people are going to also follow suit and work hard. It's not that you'll be anticipation of someday being rewarded, but as, as doctor said, you'll be rewarded on earth and you'll also be rewarded in heaven when you pass on. So I feel great today. I feel very great today. It has not been easy. I say it has affected my personal life and you know, when I say it has affected my personal life, but teaching is all about making impact. So if because of you, somebody is able to smile at the end of the day, you have achieved what you want to achieve. So seeing the beautiful faces of my staff and my people give me some sort of fulfillment. At the end of the day, I don't think about my personal feelings. It's when you come back home, then you begin to also be thinking about yourself. So it's, it's quite fulfilling. It's not easy, but then because you're making impact, it's fulfilling. Because of my hard work, I've been uh, honored as development queen mother. As well, I'm a queen mother. I was honored. Nana my name um, I don't think traditional division development queen mother, precisely Abu Abu number four in Doma. Yes, and so being a young teacher, as I said, working hard, not in anticipation of any reward or whatsoever it is. When it rains, it falls on you, it hits you hard. And in the midst of all your challenges, you try to make impact in the lives of learners that have been entrusted in you. At the end of the day, people see the way you are working, and I keep on upgrading myself from time to time. Nothing has limited me as my work as a teacher in remote communities. Sometimes you, teach, you see teachers from remote communities, and you could tell that this person is coming from a remote community. But I see myself that I've progressed through the ladder, and as I'm speaking with you now, I've, I've, I've got an opportunity to be exposed to so many people I never thought I would be, even if I was supposed to be in a, a big city or a big town. So being a teacher in a remote community and recognized today like this is fulfillment. And I know people who will see me today on TV, also in a way, consciously or unconsciously, going to learn something from it. I'm Eric Aspen. Um, first most, I want to thank God for this um, award. And um, it tells me that as a worker, wherever you are, you have to shine. And work pays for um, work pays. So whatever you are doing, you must do it with all your heart. And then you'll be awarded accordingly. So I'm much grateful that today my works have been awarded. I knew I had done a lot. As a teacher who could donate 50 computers to my alma mater school, a projector, 600 test book I have authored for the past 10 years with NACA approval. I knew I was on top of my colleagues and I could win. Um, whatever that we are doing, we should do it sincerely because one day we will be awarded. It doesn't matter where you are located, even in the village, one day you will be awarded accordingly. I'm sure those who have the program will see that this is not part of the program. Intentionally left out. Uh, last year, Certain teachers distinguished themselves and got the Ghana Teacher Prize Awards. Uh, as a policy, the Ministry and Ghana Education Service decided that any teacher who gets an award at the Ghana Teacher Prize Award Day deserves to be promoted out of turn. This is to do with Ghana Education Service Council out of 10 promotions. Just as we promote those who go and do postgraduate studies in their field of endeavor uh, with permission out of 10, so has it been decided that any teacher as an incentive, as a motivation, as an honor to others also looking on, who gets an award at this prestigious national ceremony, Ghana Teacher Prize, deserves to be promoted out of there. And this year, since January, the Ghana, 21st January, the Ghana Education Service Council did approve the out of 10 promotion of these seven teachers. <laughs> Mr. Robert, Gariba Bari, who represented Ghana 
as a Global Teacher Prize. Please, if you come forward. Ghana's Global Teacher Prize. One of the best 50 teachers in the world. Has been promoted from Assistant Director 1 to Deputy Director. Mrs. Augusta Late Young. Who coincidentally Like young, happy to be the AU best teacher in Africa as well. And she gets promoted from assistant director one to deputy director. <laughs> Ms. Filipadako himself, herself a recipient last year, gets promoted from principal superintendent to assistant director two. She was the first runner up last year. Mrs. Christiana Yeye. Who was the second runner last year, just promoted to assistant director two to assistant director one. Mr. Nicholas Bousset, who was the most outstanding teacher last year, last two years, get promoted from assistant director two to assistant director one. Mr. Osu Antipin. A principal superintendent, who was the second runner-up, gets promoted from principal superintendent to assistant director too. 